Good morning. Welcome to Current Scum World. In this video, let us study Auger Electron Spectroscopy. Okay, what is the principle and instrumentation applications of Auger Electron Spectroscopy? Okay, let us consider 1s orbital. This is 1s orbital K shell and this is 2s orbital. Let us consider an atom. Let us consider an atom with 1s orbital having 2 electrons. It is called 1s orbital is called K shell and 2s orbital with 2s2, 2 electrons and 2p6. They are all inner core electrons. Okay. So 2p6, there are 6 electrons. They are it is called L2, L3, okay, and 2s, 2s orbital is called L1 shell, K shell, L1 shell, L shell. Similarly, okay, let us now bombard the atom with a beam of electron. Let us bombard this atom with a beam of high energy beam of electron okay so what will happen is the electron the core electron one of the core electron is ejected the ejected electrons are called photoelectrons the ejected electrons are called photoelectrons the it is photoelectron spectroscopy is based on this phenomenon photoelectron spectroscopy is, is the study of kinetic energy of photon photoelectrons emitted okay okay now let us come to auger electron what are called photoelectrons we have seen here now let us see what are called auger electrons okay so similarly let us bombard the atom with a beam of high energy beam of electron beam okay so Incident electron beam ejects a core electron, K shell electron. Okay? It ejects it. As a result, a hole is formed here. See, since the electron is removed okay, from the atom, a hole is created. Now, 2s electron or L1, 2s electron jumps to fill the hole. 2s electron jumps. To fill the hole okay when it when it jumps from higher energy to lower energy when it jumps from when it goes from higher energy to lower energy it emits radiation okay this radiation emitted expels or ejects another electron you see here this electron is moved here now this electron is also ejected due to the radiation emitted. This electron is called, the ejected electron is called auger electron. This ejected electron is called auger electron. This is called photo electron. See, you see, photo. This electron is called photo electron. This ejected electron due to three step process due to three step process is called auger electron it is assigned as k because k and l and then l so k l l let us discuss the principle of auger electron spectroscopy this auger effect was discovered by lis meigner peary and auger they independently discovered auger effects. Okay, let us see its principle. That is, we have seen already the sample, we have bombarded the sample with the electron beam of high energy, that is 1 to 30 kilo electron volt. The primary electron beam. The, the primary electron beam energy has to be sufficiently high enough to ionize a to eject a core level K, K shell electron with energy Ek. 
therefore the beam energy is must be greater than 5 times the core energy okay there are three steps process occurring in auger in auger effect or auger process there are three step process first step core k shell that is oneness electron is removed ejected to form a hole that is from k shell so it is designated as k electron from a higher energy level fall into the vacancy that is electron from a higher energy l shell fall into k shell into the vacancy in the k shell so it is designated as l now the radiation emitted due to this um, due to the second process will further eject weakly bound electrons in the outer shell l so the auger electron is designated as kll so the emitted electron is called auger electrons and designated as kll based on their origin the kinetic energy of the ejected electrons the kinetic energy of these emitted or ejected electrons are measured and plotted against number of electrons emitted of that particular kinetic energy okay now let us see auger electron spectrum you will clearly understand what are auger electrons and all this is the auger electron spectrum of for copper nanoparticles okay and the emitted auger electrons will have a kinetic energy the emitted auger electrons will have a kinetic energy it is given by e equal to ek minus el1 minus el2 ek equal to core level energy core level energy that is k shell oneness orbital oneness orbital shell el1 first outer shell that is l shell and el2 2p orbital energy sub cell energy that is el2 the auger spectrum for copper nanoparticle is shown here it plots it plots the number of electrons emitted that is intensity counts per second as a function of kinetic energy of the emitted electron since the see here the intensity of the auger peaks are small since the intensity of the auger peaks are small hence aes are plotted in derivative spectrum in derivative mode the aes spectrum is always shown in a derivative spectrum as a derivative spectrum this is a derivative spectrum okay let us now see auger electron spectroscopy instrumentation the spectrometer consists of the following important components it consists of ultra high vacuum chamber okay to produce high vacuum the sample is placed here and to electron gun you see here electron gun is a source of electron beam to eject electron okay to produce a hole ion gun ion gun is used to, to remove adsorbed gases on the target it is also used for sample cleaning ion gun is used for sample cleaning or, or, or for in depth thin film analysis for in depth thin film analysis fourth one electrostatic energy analyzer it is also called 
CMA electrostatic energy analyzer this is here this is here okay it is also called CMA cylindrical mirror analyzer it has a larger electron transmission it has a larger electron transmission the electron emitting spot on the sample where the electron is emitted it is imaged by the CMA cylindrical mirror analyzer the electron emitted spot from the sample target sample is imaged by the CMA an electron beam is focused is focused onto a sample and the emitted electrons are deflected around the electron gun okay an electron beam is focused onto a specimen and emitted electrons are deflected around the electron gun to reach the electron detector and it is processed the data is processed by computer let us now see auger electron yield number of auger electrons emitted with atomic number of sample element okay as you see here auger electron yield is high for lighter element as atomic number increases the number of auger electrons emitted also decreases okay whereas x-ray emission x-ray emission increases with increase in atomic number whereas auger electron emitted decreases with the increasing atomic number okay let us figure source number of auger electrons emitted that is yield as a function of atomic number auger transitions are more probable for lighter elements see here auger yield is high x-ray emission yield becomes dominant at higher at dominant at higher atomic number so the probability of auger process is high for lighter element for transition KLL for heavy elements the probability is higher for LMM that is L shell M shell M shell based on their origin auger electrons are named labeled based on their origin or M cell, N cell, N cell auger transition. What are the applications of auger electron spectroscopy? Auger electron spectroscopy and electron spectroscopy for chemical analysis ESCA is very important. Both are similar technique. They are very important analytical techniques used in material science to investigate the molecular composition of the surface and, its, and their structures and their electronic properties. It can be used to, to distinguish between even the element and their oxidation state. For example, energy required to remove Fe from Fe2 plus Fe3 plus ions are more than ferrous atom because they are already positively charged. It is very difficult to remove electron from these than this. The emitted auger electrons labeled based on their origin are detected and analyzed. The peak positions, the peak positions correspond to kinetic energy of auger electrons emitted that are used to, to identify the elements present and their chemical composition. It is a non-destructive technique. It is useful for only conducting sample. Insulators are difficult to study due to surface charging. Thank you for watching. Please share and subscribe. Thank you again.